Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Rodney and thank you, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Uh, and to the team subscribers, you guys are the best. And those of you who have not subscribed, I hope that by the end of this video, you're gonna hit that subscribe button, hit that like, leave a comment and you know i love engaging with you guys so today i'm going to share with you guys about one of the questions that so many people have been asking me and i thought that it was very much important um to be able to share this vital information here on this channel um people have been asking like how do we get part-time jobs are there part-time jobs in ireland for students you know the answer is yes <laughs> there are part-time jobs actually like um quite a lot of part-time jobs um, even full-time jobs they are here so what happens is that um, like your your residence permit for example as a student here your residence permit um, where is my residence permit wait for me I'm back <laughs> okay so it's a, just a card like this you know that's a residence permit card so what happens is that um, when you arrive here um, on your passport they're gonna just stamp your passport at the immigration and give you three months and now i'm talking about a student now they give you three months to say that within these three months you need to make sure that you apply for the gnib for the residence permit card which i just showed you now so um you when you apply for that it's gonna tell you that okay fine you are supposed to be here in the country from this date until this particular date um normally it will be like maybe for a year sort of yeah and then on that on this card on this card um it's also written that um you know um, a student permission to study full time one um no access to public services or benefits okay permission to work subject to limitations and cannot engage in business so so what happens is that like as a as a student an international student for that matter you are given 20 hours per week um, during your normal school term um, you can work for 20 hours per week um, and then during school holidays you can work for 40 hours meaning that you can work like full-time sort of you know so it's actually I like to look at it this way that you know during your school term you know you're working part-time and then during school holidays <laughs> you're working full-time you know so yeah so that's what happens here and then um but the, the interesting thing is that like the type of jobs that are available you can work um in restaurants in bars um retail stores um cleaning services um what else a whole bunch of things a lot of things a lot of a lot of jobs okay actually whatever job that is available for students you can just you can just do that and and the other thing is that you can you can work as an international student ambassador just like myself I prefer as an international student ambassador for um, NUI Galway. So, like, what you do there, you do tours for prospective students. You know, you can do a tour for an hour. And then, um, so there are different rates that um, are given. Um, for example, like, there is a minimum wage here in Ireland, which is like 10 euros per hour. So meaning that you cannot get anything less than 10 euros per hour, which is good, you know. So meaning that if you, for example, you work uh, for 10 hours in a day, you're going to be working for like 100 euros, which is like maybe for now, maybe 1,600 rands per day. Yeah, per day. Mm -hmm. Got it right. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so that's the other thing. So at least you are able to make extra cash uh, depending on where you want to work. So like there are just so many, so many, you know, part-time jobs that you can actually do um, to support yourself. Um, and this one is also good, like for example, for students who maybe they are partially funded, maybe it's a 50% funded, you know, they can be able to get jobs, uh, part-time jobs and, you know, work and just to buy say, food and other basic needs. You know so so that is also the, the the important thing that one can can actually do so in terms of job guys um they are there just know you can work as a student you know yeah it's, it's possible to do that provided you have time because we know that there are some of the programs which may be so much demanding that if they don't even have actually time to even go and get a job and and, and so on but and you can when you arrive here you can actually start looking for those jobs easy like and even most of the times i'm um, doing holidays like christmas or christmas holidays most of the retail shops and also places they'll be needing people so there's gonna be that demand 
of our part-timers, to seasonal workers, to go in there and grab and do some work, you know. So, so that's there about the, the jobs, guys. They are available. And also in terms of um, transport, I, I might as well just share with you guys this. Uh, for transportation, where is that small car of mine? Oh no, I don't know, where is it? Okay, what happened? All right, okay, anyway, it's fine. I wanted to show you the, the, the card that we, we use called the student leap card, which we use for transportation in terms of buses. You can just load it up and pay in the bus. It's transport is cheap. It's cheap here to, to move around, which is a great thing. And it is also convenient. I think I shared it in, ten, in one of my videos, five things I love about Ireland, I think. Yeah, about the, the transport system that is just good. It's connected, you know, um, you're able to, to travel at any given time of the day whether during the night you know it's there is that that flexibility which i like so in terms of jobs you will get jobs as a student you'll be able to work make extra cash and travel around europe so it's up to you all right so i hope that one was helpful and answered um some of your questions maybe you also had the same question so yeah so i hope that answers it all and then if there are other things that you would like me to clarify and answer and try to do a video on you can just say it on the comment section and then I will just review it and, you know, possibly just do a video and just to answer the questions that you may have. I hope to catch up with you guys very soon. See you in the next video. Bye.